Welcome to our product and user guide videos. Today we're going to demonstrate how easy it is to use the Screen Pro Oral Fluid Drug Test. The Screen Pro Oral Fluid Drug Test is a qualitative point of care screening device for the rapid detection of drugs and metabolites in human saliva. Before using the Screen Pro Oral Fluid device, bring it up to room temperature between 15 to 30 degrees Celsius. Carefully inspect the packet to ensure it is intact. Do not use if opened, damaged or torn. Check the expiry date and only use if in date. Tear open the packet and remove the device and the collection swab. Place a silica desiccant pouch and pack it to one side. Do not use the collection swab if the indicator is visible in the saturation indicator window. Important. Donors should not eat, drink, smoke or vape for 10 minutes prior to a specimen being taken. Also instruct the donor not to bite, suck or chew on the sponge. Remove the collection swab from the pouch without touching the sponge and hand it to the donor. Ask the donor to sweep the inside of the mouth, cheeks, gums, tongue several times, then hold the swab in the mouth until a red colour appears on the saturation indicator window. If at seven minutes the saturation indicator has not turned red, continue to read the test. Remove the collection swab from the donor's mouth and without touching the sponge, insert it sponge first into the screening device. Push down until locked into place. Place the device on a flat surface and keep upright whilst the test is running. You can tap the device gently to remove any air bubbles from the base of the strips to ensure the device runs correctly. Note, the THC strip does not wick as quickly as the others. It is designed to wick slowly, allowing the sample and antibody to incubate, providing the sensitivity required to accurately measure THC. Interpreting the results. You will see that the ScreenPro Oral Fluid Drug Test tests for one drug per strip, making it easy to read. Each strip has its own control line and test line. Make sure the control line at the top of the strip is visible. This indicates the strip has worked correctly. Positive, also known as non-negative results. The presence of a reddish purple line at the top C position and no line at the bottom T position on any of the test strips indicate a non-negative result for that drug. Non-negative results should be read at 10 minutes. All non-negative results should be sent to a suitably accredited laboratory for confirmation analysis where required. Negative results. The presence of a reddish purple line in the top C position and again in the bottom T position on any of the strips indicate a negative result for that drug. Negative results can be read as soon as both control and test lines are visible on each strip. Invalid. If a control line fails to appear on any individual test strip, the test result is invalid and should be repeated with a new cup. Please note, it is normal for the line intensity to vary. Any line, regardless of the intensity, colour or size, should be read as a line. If the device includes alcohol, read the alcohol strip at 2 minutes. Compare the colour of the reaction pad with the colour chart provided to determine the relative blood alcohol level. No colour change indicates a negative result. This concludes the ScreenPro Oral Fluid Drug Test product and user guide.